Hell's Gate Air Tram is a popular tourist attraction in British Columbia's Fraser Canyon. Descending over 500 feet, it crosses a section of the Fraser Canyon that suddenly narrows, forcing 750 million liters of water through a 33 meter wide passage, which results in a tumultuous set of whitewater rapids that give the area its name. 19th century explorer Simon Fraser noted in his journals that this was a place where no human should venture, for surely these are the gates of hell. And indeed the Fraser Canyon is steeped in both history and tragedy. In the 1850s, the Fraser Gold Rush brought thousands of would-be prospectors to the area, but the harsh climate in British Columbia's interior led many of them to starvation and eventually death. Then in the 1880s, construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway expanded in the area, which was a particularly deadly activity for the workers given the treacherous terrain and the poor working conditions, and it's estimated that about three Chinese workers lost their lives for every single mile of track that was laid. These events happened in the immediate vicinity of where the Hell's Gate air tram exists today. In fact, one of the buildings at the air tram was once used as a cookhouse for Canadian Pacific Railway workers. So perhaps then it's appropriate that the attraction has become known as a paranormal hotspot, with staff and guests reporting numerous sightings of apparitions and experiencing ghostly phenomenon like the sounds of screaming, sudden drops in temperature, unexplained banging, and the sounds of footsteps. Guests have also reported the unexplained aroma of cigar smoke, which possibly originates from the ghost of a mysterious man who's been seen casually smoking a cigar in a far corner of the Air Tram's restaurant. And others have witnessed another sinister apparition known as Edward, who's been spotted on the Air Tram's deck near the gold panning station with a couple of red-eyed hellhounds. Some have noted that this spirit has a negative energy associated with it, and his presence has been known to affect the emotions of visitors and evoke a strong reaction from visiting animals. Another artifact, dating back to railway days in the late 1800s, is Hell's Gate's haunted stove. Legend has it that one night, the camp's Chinese chef, known as Johnny, mysteriously vanished. And although a replacement chef was found, a weird thing started happening with Johnny's stove, which refused to light no matter how hard they tried. In desperate need of a good meal, a search party was sent out to find Johnny, who was eventually found and returned to camp. Johnny of course had no trouble lighting his stove, and began to churn out delicious warm meals until he passed away in 1890. It's said that a strange thing happens on the anniversary of Johnny's death. Johnny's stove is known to feel faintly warm to the touch, even though no fire has been kindled in it for over a hundred years. Another paranormal hotspot is the gift shop, which used to be the cookhouse for railway workers. Some have noticed the unexplained aroma of fresh baked apple pie, and have spotted a woman peering out the gift shop door wearing a bonnet and old style blue dress, even though none of the air tram's workers match that description. Other spirits encountered on site include an Asian man who's said to have lost his life during the building of the railroad, and the apparition of a lonely little girl wandering the halls. With all of these sightings, it's no doubt that the air tram is one of the most haunted spots on the Fraser River, and has attracted interest from the paranormal community who has conducted several sessions on site, even being featured in an episode of Ghost Hunters International. GHI enters the gates of hell, where an air tram traverses a land of forgotten bloodshed and hardship. Can they reach men worked to death on a railway? I thought I just saw something moved. What the hell was that? Fortunately, while research at the air tram continues, investigators haven't found any evidence to indicate that the spirits pose any danger to staff or visitors. So next time you visit the air tram, keep an eye out for these wandering spirits and keep an open mind about other unexplained phenomenon, perhaps you too will feel the warmth of Johnny's haunted stove. <laughs>